Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the Fly Moon In 1408 and 1404, 3650 and 4850 KV motors. In this video, I'm going to show these motors and bench test them using my motor thrust stand and soon I'm going to feature the 1408 motors in a build video. Currently, these motors are available only in titanium color and just like previous flyer motors that I tested, these are beautiful and shiny motors and they are definitely going to add some bling to your build. The 1408 motor is available in 3 kV options, 2350, 3650 kV, which is the version that I have and I'm going to bench test in this video, and 4150 kV. The 2350 kV version can handle up to 6S lipo batteries and the 3650 and the 4150 kV versions can handle up to 4S. The 1404 motor is available in two KV versions, 4850, which is the one I have, and 3750, and both motors can handle up to 4S lipo batteries. On the bottom of both motors, you can find the same 12 by 12 mm motor mounting pattern. They are both using a C-clip to secure the motor bell, and also using 15 cm long 24 AWG motor silicone wires. The differences between the motors is that, of course, the 1408 motor is taller than the 1404. On the 1408 motor, the propeller is secured using a nut, whereas on the 1404 version, it's secured using M2 screws, and the diameter of the motor shaft is 1.5 mm. In addition, as far as I can tell, the magnets of the 1408 version are thicker than the magnets of the 1404. In terms of weight, the 1408 motor weighs 18.6 grams, including the propeller nut and the full length of the silicon wires. And the 1404 motor is of course much lighter and weighs around 10.7 grams. The next thing I've done is to bench test the 1404 motor using two 2.5 and 3 inch propellers. And as you're about to see, it could handle them very well using both 3 and 4S lipo batteries. In my opinion, the 1404 motor can be a great option for a lightweight, powerful 3-inch build. However, its biggest limitation is its 12 by 12 mm mounting holes, and it could have been great if Flywo added 9 mm mounting holes, just like this Spintech motor 1304 motor. And if they would have done it, it could have been easily mounted on 3-inch frames, which normally use 9 mm by 9 mm mounting pattern. So I'm still not sure which frame I'm going to use this motor with. After that, I bench tested the 1408 motor using three and four inch propellers on three and four S lipo batteries. And as you're about to see, using three inch propellers, it could handle three and four S lipo batteries very well. However, I smoked this motor on four S using a four inch propeller. And I actually kind of know it's going to happen, but I wanted to push this motor to its limit in order to see if it's going to survive. Recently I reviewed the Flexo C Colugo frame and I'm going to use the 1408's Flywo motors when I'm going to build it. Now I'm going to show you the bench test and as always I'm going to leave a link down below to the full test results in case you would like to check them out. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about these motors, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.